What happens after I sign a petition? Let me put it to you this way. I care about 100% renewable energy. I log onto Instagram to see pictures of my aunt's new basset hound puppy named Roger. I notice a petition for 100% renewable energy and I decide to sign it. Why not? After I sign it, it disappears back into the ether of my social media scrolling. That petition might go to any variety of places. It could be submitted as part of a public comment period, which means my opinion is officially taken into consideration during that decision-making process. It could be sent directly to my legislators, which can help shape what they know about how their constituents feel about a certain issue. It could go to a company, so that they know this is an issue that might impact future customers. In any case, the simple math of a petition is, the higher the number of signers, the more influential it is to decision makers. And my signature is now included in that number. But here's where the magic of petitions really begins. After I sign the petition, renewable energy is at the top of my mind. And later, while I'm on the phone with my friend Emily, I mention it to her, and she signs it too. We end up having a pretty good conversation about why renewable energy is important to us. When I hang up, I'm kind of fired up from our conversation, so I Google how to contact my representatives. Then I give them a call and let them know that this is important to me. I was a little intimidated to actually get on the phone, but it turned out to be so easy that I post instructions on how to do it on social media for anyone who also cares about renewable energy enough to make the call. A few people reach out to me from that post, and we decide to form a Facebook group so that we can share future opportunities for action with each other, like submitting letters to the editor, writing postcards, and signing more petitions. For fun, we make some 100% hats and we wear them on our Zoom calls. In this group, someone shares a news story that our state has 100% legislation in the works, and we decide to host a virtual phone bank to get people to call their representatives. We actually join a local environmental group's virtual lobby day so that we can sit down, virtually, with our representatives and let them know face-to-face, -face, kind of, what we care about. We host a digital watch party when the 100% bill is up for debate, and we create a text chain to alert people to contact their representatives and make sure that they know a ton of people all across the state care about this. From me, to my friend Emily, to my aunt, to my aunt's dog, Roger. I'm so fired up by all of this that I cut out a bunch of paper dolls and make a video about how important it is to take digital action, which leads more people to sign the petition and go through that entire process that I just went through. So this is the true lifespan of a petition. It doesn't end with one signature. It creates a chain reaction. Every action we take moves us one step closer toward the healthy, sustainable society we believe in. Just like every new piece of clean energy chips away at our reliance on fossil fuels and creates a chain reaction of cleaner air, cleaner water, and fewer carbon emissions. It's a ripple effect, moving faster and faster and faster, transforming our society, one state at a time, one solar panel at a time, one person at a time. So yes, those petitions you've been signing do make a difference, but it's because they don't stop there. They connect you to a series of actions, people, communities, and real tangible changes in our society. You can start right now by signing a petition. We're trying to reach 1 million people who support our vision for a healthier, cleaner society, and we'll connect you with further actions you can take to start a chain reaction in your life and in your community to turn that vision into something we live every day.